Extremely dangerous and on the run. The search for an escaped inmate and murder suspect continues into the night. He has been missing all day and he could be headed our way. Good evening, everyone. Tom is off tonight. Curtis Watson escaped from a West Tennessee prison. He has been missing all day long. Yeah, time is very critical. Every moment he's away could be putting others in danger. And new at 10, we've got video of the scene in West Tennessee where there's an all out manhunt right now for that escaped prisoner believed to be responsible for the murder of a prison employee. Curtis Ray Watson is now on the TBI's most wanted list and police are telling everyone be on the lookout. So News 4's Brittany Weiner has been following this story since it broke this afternoon. Brittany, there is a chance he could be heading here to Middle Tennessee. That's right, Tracy and Lauren Watson has a violent criminal history and he was actually in prison for a crime that he committed here in the mid state. And right now investigators are trying to figure out where this extremely dangerous man is headed. Now the Department of Corrections says that correctional administrator Deborah Johnson was found dead in her home on the prison property around 1130 this morning. The prison immediately went on lockdown and during an inmate count, that's when they noticed that Watson was missing from his work detail. TBI says that Watson got away on a tractor, which was found about a mile and a half away. At the press conference earlier today, officials could not say if they believed that he is armed, but say he is dangerous and should not be approached. Let me reiterate, this is a serious situation, and uh, we ask the public to stay vigilant, stay aware. We need to get this dangerous individual into custody. TDOC says that it has been more than a decade since the prison reported a problem with Watson, which was in 2007 for failing to report to duties and classes. He was in prison for an especially aggravated kidnapping conviction, but his criminal history includes aggravated rape and aggravated child abuse. Reporting in the newsroom, Brittany Weiner, News 4. Rest assured that we will find this offender and bring justice to the family of Deborah Johnson. That is the woman killed in the escape. This lady, she has served our community for years, even some time here in Nashville. Deborah Johnson has worked for the state for 38 years. TDOC says she started as a correctional sergeant, worked her way up to correctional administrator for the West Region. During her career, she served as the warden for the Tennessee prison here in Nashville. TDOC says she was well respected by colleagues and inmates, but they don't know if she ever had any contact with Watson. We don't know of any specific contact that Ms. Johnson may have had. Now, Deborah's been in the, in the system a long time, uh, as many years of service as she has uh, with the offenders in Tennessee. It's possible she could have known this, uh, this offender. Now, TBI has not said how she was killed. Deborah Johnson was 64 years old. I want to take a look at this. Even TBI's plane spent some time helping in this search. That plane's flight path shows it circling the area several times. That's what you're looking at right here. It spent a little time searching the north, is now back over the escape area.